Alright, 4F2070 on your neutral switches are normally they've got a spot to line them up normally there's no way to line them up because the piece that bolts on here does not have anything to line it up with so I just mark where they were and I put them back exactly where they were uh, 5 millimeters on the two bolts here Speed sensor is 10, some of them are 8. Back cover on Mazdas are usually 40 Torx. On a Ford, they're normally 12 millimeters. on the fan bolt. Superior started making an adjustable bolt for this so that's what I'm going to get on this one. Mazda's the cooler lines normally here. Ford's the cooler lines on the end cover. Pay close attention to your ring lands here. Make sure that they're not all wore out. Where this washer goes right here has a tendency to beat this out. Bushings are real bad on these also. And somebody's been into this unit. Gotta figure out what they did and what's wrong with it. Make sure our bushing's okay in this hub. Our uh, gear's not snapped off. Bushing's okay in our hub. different designs on the you know, how the cushion plate it whether it has a cushion plate or doesn't have a cushion plate in the reverse drum thing looks pretty burnt on this thing got a bearing up inside there Sure, our sprag is working, turning one way, locking the other. Pull the snap ring off. The planetaries, these are bad about stripping out the splines in here. Actually, put our hub back in it, make sure that we're we've still got it. Lots of teeth. Now they're bearing our sun gear. Now 
And usually it, uh, there's a snap ring on the other side that uh, kind of holds the hub in place. So you can get on here and knock it on with a seal puller and pull it out. Now I've seen these um, right here look like they're still on there and you give them a little tap or you get them hot and they'll fall right off. This one looks like it's on there pretty good. There's that snap ring. Let me pop that through. Our bushing looks amazingly good on these in this unit. Take our snap ring out. We'll pull our well reverse clutches out. Now these uh, snap ring that holds in this hub or the race for the uh, sprag really easy to get out. You just need a scribe. And you can uh, walk that snap ring right out of there. Either with a scribe or a long screwdriver. There's your snap ring. Your race bevel plate. And then our piston. We're in good shape. Go ahead and take our like tens on this one. Some of them they're eights. Temperature sensor, filter. And do our shift solenoids. Ten millimeter for our ground bolt. And our valve body bolts. Some of these are eights. This one here is tens. Accumulators. I usually put one set in the basket and then I put the other set on the table just remembering where I got them from. And we're going to take our linkage out. Let's 
see what size this is. Uh, like five thirty seconds. Some of these pins are bigger than others. Yeah, fell inside there, so I have to get that out. Pull your linkage out. Our servo, 10 millimeters. Some of them are eights. Check your servo real close. Make sure the rubber's in real good shape. And on your case, I drive the pin out. <clears throat> as one of the servos that I have. I use it as a gauge. And this case is wore out big time. It's amazing that that band is not burnt. I don't know if you can see that, but uh, it is a lot of play. And almost every one of these cases is wore out. I don't. I used to check every one. I don't normally check them anymore. I just go ahead and, and sleeve that case. Um, Servoboard.com, I think, is the place that sells the kit for pouring those out. Twelve millimeters on our case here. Some of them are tens. Another speed sensor down here, 10 millimeter. Pump's going to come off with your front case. between our pump and our drum. Ten millimeters on our pump. These bushings in here are real bad about wearing out. Looks really good shape. Somebody must have replaced them. All right, we got these uh, cutouts that face up on this gear. On the inner gear, our bevel faces down. Somebody's already marked them anyway, so it doesn't matter. That faces down. Those face up. Good shape. Differential looks like it's good. Be careful, these will spin out of there. They're not near as bad as the old G4As and F4ELs, but they will still spin out of there.
pull this little wire off and let it flip over there. Get you a magnet pulling out your pin. Two tins out here. Get the pressure off of that. Pop this out of the park. Here we go. Pull our pin out. Park actuator. And our spring. Make sure all of our teeth are good here. Here's that hub that clips on that snap ring. You look good. You can leave this in there, just make sure none of your teeth are screwed up. There's no need to take this out of there. Alright, let me go take these drums apart. snap ring come on get on out of there piston's got real good bite on it to put pistons in it so they really got some tension so we got a re return spring in here pistons make sure we're not ring cut up in there Same way here, make sure no ring cut on the drum. A snap ring. Make sure the rubber's nice and good. Another return spring balance piston. Uh, looks really good. Yeah, I didn't see that when I first looked down in there, but this snap ring is already halfway off. And if you look down in here, where the steels go at the bottom, where that cushion plate goes, it's dinged into that drum pretty good. And one of the complaints with this unit was it had no reverse. So, I'll be replacing this drum. There's something wrong with it. It's got that... That's not quite enough to cause a no reverse, but with the snap ring popping off of here, I'm gonna I'm gonna replace the drum. I get me a loaded drum so I get a new snap ring, new retainer. Well, not new, but a different retainer, bevel plate and uh, probably a piston as well. Alright, let me go write this up and uh, we'll be back. 
All right, this is what we're doing on this one. LS kit, filter, loaded reverse drum, superior valve body kit. I'll put one in every one of these units. It has an accumulator in there that wears out in the case that it fixes. And then it's got some springs that you put in the valve body. The KO121 is the adjustable band nut. Um, servo sleeve. We're going to sleeve the case and then a shift solenoid E and the converter's already been replaced and this is the number from the company 8157. So we'll sell it or yeah, sell this one and get going. <laughs> 